Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about running two different cards, completely different cards, 3080s with an A5000 running on Hive OS. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe with the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking for, looking for someone to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, such as this one here, or you want to buy yourself some GPUs or ASICs, go to CryptoLLC.org. All right, let's get started. So we got one A5000 right here running. And we wanted to see firsthand if it works on the same rig as a 3080 or 3090. So these cards here, these are gigabyte three fan gigabyte cards, all 3080s. They're running on a Q270 board, 2400 and a 1000 from EVGA over there. And so we wanted to see if this will work. And technically it should, but I know on Windows it does not work. We tried it on Windows and the driver uh, has a conflict where you're trying to load, you're trying to run 3080s, you know, on a driver that's made for A5000s and A5000 for a 38. That was a couple months ago. Maybe things changed, but we couldn't get it to run. So we tried it on Hive OS now, plugged them in, um, and right now it's working just fine. The only thing is we still haven't got two cards to work. So we're still looking into why two cards stopped working. But the rest of the cards and the A5000 work just fine. Just started doing the overclock on the A5000, still doing that right now. So it's not completed. But we, can, we have a general idea of how things are going. So let's take a look. So here's that rig. There you go. All right, so here is A5000 right there, 3080s right there. You can see the overclocks. And they're all running at 99. So 99, 99, 99. We still haven't played that much with the power. I mean, the power is just set at uh, 1100 on the core. That's probably enough for 85,000, but I could probably lower it. I still haven't uh, looked into that. Again, this is only running for about five minutes. We did, have a, we did have a problem where if we ran the whole rig with those two GPUs, then it would just crash. So I turned those two GPUs off for now just to see if it runs. And it is running. So it's been about 10 minutes now, five, 10 minutes. And it is running. They're all at 99. This is uh, with the new uh, LHR 100% unlock. So these are LHR cards running at basically 100 close to 100 and then an A5000 on the same rig also running at that 100 mark you see the overclocks there uh, also it's running different uh, memory I think it's not the X it's GDR6 and the 3080s are GDR6X if I recall correctly you can see right here micron memory and then a Samson memory right there so differences are there huge differences in memory the brand of the memory the memory itself the overclock as well you see it's at 86 even though uh, in Hive OS I set this to 2000 and these are at 22 but still that huge difference in memory overclock is just you're going off a lower value and then when you plug in your memory overclock it's not actually picking up to 10351 which I don't think it ever will go there anyway because of the way the A5000s are built on a different memory but anyway, just want to show you guys uh, the video, uh, give you guys an, uh, an idea. If you were thinking about running, you know, like half a rig at A5000s, the other half is uh, 3080s. Um, currently, with just one A5000, it is running fine. Um, keeping in mind that I did update the NVIDIA drivers on Hive OS to the newest one as of today. And Hive OS is also updated to the newest Hive OS as of today. So you can take a look at when this video was updated, uploaded and give it, get yourself an idea. And as well as uh, we're using NB Miner, the newest version as well as of today. So that's the current setup and uh, it's working fine. I'll run it for an another hour and then I'll slowly turn on the other GPUs and see where the problem is and fix it. Um, but the goal is to get it to run uh, no matter how many GPUs are loaded and all that other stuff. Because we know that with Hive, it doesn't really care about 3080s, but never really tested with an A5000 and a 3080 on there. It's probably best to keep them separated, but it's good to know if it will cause a problem or not. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do. Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Share this video with grandma, grandpa. Share this video with your cat and dog and everybody else out there. 
that's interested in crypto mining. And if you're looking to someone set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, you know what to do, or you want to buy yourself some GPUs, CryptoLLC.org. And until next time, bye.